General Douglas MacArthur, showing little signs of what he must have been feeling, opened the proceedings. We are gathered here, representatives of the major warring powers, to conclude a solemn agreement whereby peace may be restored. It is my earnest hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past, a world founded upon faith and understanding, a world dedicated to the dignity of man and the fulfillment of his most cherished wish for freedom, tolerance, and justice. I now invite the representatives of the Emperor of Japan and the Japanese government and the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters to sign the instrument of surrender at the places indicated. Shigemitsu was the first to sign Japan's unconditional surrender. All of us who watch this historic picture would do well to remember that although these signatures have brought peace now, they do not guarantee it forever. The maintenance of peace will demand our utmost vigilance for long years to come. Umeju followed Shigemitsu. Will General Wainwright and General Percival step forward and accompany me while I sign? MacArthur then put his signature to the document using two pens, one of which he handed to General Wainwright thin and haggard from his captivity. The other he presented to General Percival, a prisoner since Singapore. Then, briefly, he rang down the curtain. Let us pray that peace be now restored to the world and that God will preserve it always. These proceedings are closed.